people that can't afford training have to make that decision of, do I pay my light bill or do I allow my kid to chase his dream? Devin Butler did something that really changed the game of how people train their kids. I was in Norway playing and I got cut, so I was in between jobs. So while I was home, when a couple of parents asked me to train their kids, and what I noticed was kids could only come maybe once a week because that's all their parents could afford to have time to. And they would come back the next Saturday, and they wasn't getting better like I thought they should. And so they needed a tool, I felt, to be able to help that. He drew up concepts of how he wanted the app to look. With the basics, then he was able to add on. Now that we got them to see videos, what else do we want? We also want them to be able to get SAT prep, ACT prep. You know, so we like, okay, we put that in. We also need them to know that they have to be ready for the NCAA clearinghouse. So we put that up. I think it's the first complete app, one-stop shop that you can go in and you can get every single thing you need. He's taken the idea of social media and incorporating basketball, academics, weight training, nutrition. It's never been done before. You know, a lot of kids, they don't always have the resources. And so our app is filling the void and bridging the gap between underprivileged kids not being able to get out there and seek those resources to get better. Here, last time through, one more time through. Don't touch the ladder, don't worry about speed. All right, it's about efficiency. The app was paid at first. The problem initially was we knew the product was good, but there was so many people left out. Out of, you know, like 60, 70,000 users who download the app, only three or 4,000 was paying. I'd rather help the other 60, 70,000 than worry about the other 3,000, because that's what's happening in real life. The ones who are better, they have the money or have the access to pay for it, and the ones who aren't, they're just left out. So we said, you know, if we're doing it for the kids, let's make this app completely free for the kids. So now it allows us to reach kids throughout the world. Evolve has done a great job of giving back to the community, making it affordable for kids to go and chase their dream. Before the app, on a scale of one to 10, I was about like at a two. Now, not with just the app, but with Devin's help, I'm like at a six. But the app helped me like get on a level where I can understand the basics. Y'all come on, let's go. Our core responsibilities are to prepare our athletes for a life, not only on the court, but off the court. And that could be sports-related careers, it could be just your citizenship, your social uh, impact with your community. So for us, it's very, very important that we spend time developing the essential qualities of an individual and not just the athletic qualities. We try to teach kids, people to have a plan and, and use basketball as a tool, because once you're done playing, the ball is going to stop bouncing. A lot of people, after they play basketball, they do get depressed because it's like, man, this is what I've been doing my whole life. You know, what do I do next? Now, study and transition yourself into something else. We're still pushing the kids to go to college or get a trade. So we put a lot of that stuff in the app so they can find information on doing that. So we're able to shape individuals. So we also plan on making the app for other sports because the need is in all sports for people that are less privileged, not just basketball. We just did basketball first because that's what we're experts One, in. Two, three, four. We're evening out the playing field, but we're just giving everybody hope. So that's the main thing, giving every kid hope to have a chance to make it or to be better.